What is up, fellas? JPS delivers here. I hope y'all are having a good one so far this week. Um, we're going to change things up. I've been playing PlayStation 2, and I was like, fuck it. I need to get a converter for this so I can capture these games. we got the AV audio video to HDMI conversion going on. So, uh, And the good thing, too, for game capture, <clears throat> it's never going to slow down the computer too much or make anything faulty with the game capture at all just because there's a lot less information coming through You know the, uh, the input and outputs of this game to where you know playstation 2 games just not you know as much information inside of those games like graphics wise and general and whatnot at least that's my fucking guess i'm talking out my ass but that's my guess um with these older games is you know just hopefully that's the case talking out my ass but you know it sounds good right it sounds good it's like most people talk politics if they sound good but uh yeah let's get this started we'll count from 10 9 8 7 Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we got the Falcons. We're playing in a dome half the year. I like it at least half a year. So I'm liking it. Uh, Mike Smith on this team before. Uh, what's his face? Did he come from like the. I don't, uh, I don't fucking remember. Do not remember. But let's get this shit started. Know a decent amount about the fantasy draft and like how it goes and stuff like that. Uh, certain rounds and whatnot. We'll have to see with the certain players but definitely you know it'll definitely help to know where to go and, and whatnot we'll have to see pick number five holy shit hmm Drew Brees is there 29 year old Drew Brees also got Big Ben as well was he technically in Atlanta Georgia oh we gotta get Big Ben in Atlanta Georgia wasn't he in fucking Georgia when he got those like rape allegations oh yeah we're doing that we were doing that, and not only that, it'd be cool to bring John Abram, you know, to ATL, keep him there. I know he started his nice career off with the Jets, but I think Justin Tuck is the guy to go with. Younger dude, not going to cost as much, so I'm liking it. Tackles. Oh, we got to go Joe Thomas. There's no way, like, there's no way you don't do that. So it's usually in three and four, it's wide receivers, cornerbacks, tackles. No reason to go back to tackles. We got our blind side protected. I do like Ish Taylor though, so So I'll take that any day of the week. Now we got like really good fucking players at these positions. Uh Tatupu. Definitely be a sick dude out of USC. Samoan for sure. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta believe that he's a Samoan, you know. So, but at the same time, Patrick Willis, less of a salary, but at the same time, I played with Patrick Willis before, you know. Not, oh my God! Yes, let's get Big Ben and Polo Malu. I don't even know why I didn't think anything of that. Nice. So now, it's time to see. So we got Polo Malu right there. We got a good cornerback. Middle linebacker has not been established yet. And I think Bart Scott would be interesting. Keith Brooking would be interesting, but I don't I just don't like it well enough. Uh, don't like any of these guys either. So part of me is like, let's get right? I mean, or do we get who's this right here? Harris. David Harris at Michigan. Younger player for sure. Good player, 83 speed. We're we'll probably try our best to get like a four, th a three, four going. So I do like that. So there we go. Still basically the same players going on here. Um, Nada would be a nice player to have with Justin Tuck to run a four, three, and then maybe improve um, the uh, interior and stuff like that of my defense. Going on with that right there at tackle, so don't want to try that. I mean, Michael Griffin is there, but there's definitely some young players. Who's this? Tenard Jackson. Nice, nice. But I think, with that being said, I mean, hmm, interesting. Eh, I think we go ahead um, and get these positions. Another? Should we get another middle linebacker for this? 3-4. Baird Rude. Then, so, let's look at this. Any of these guys, like, really fast. Like, speed. So, we got a Greenwood that's really fast. Yeah. Tosh. 
strength isn't amazing, but the acceleration for sure. I like it. Um, got Jerry Porter and company. I think though, I think though, I want to play with. Um, eh, I think actually, I'm on seven. Let's. Should we just get another really good middle linebacker or pair it up with? Because part of me is like, go for this, go for that. But let's just go ahead and get like I don't think there's like really like young great D linemen at this point. I think we get Nada. And then now here in the eighth round. We gotta pick someone along these lines right here. Oh, Terrell Suggs. Terrell Suggs with Nada. That's such a nice duo with those two. And then this is the round of tight ends. We got Kellen Winslow right there as well. I mean, it would, it would be really hard not to pick that man. Really impressive. Uh, but I think we can just improve uh, just with the core we'll have. So, hang on now. Don't want that. So Antonio Holmes would be interesting to have for this team. He's 5'11", though, so it's really hard for me to just sit there and think that's good enough for me to pick. You know, so Terrell Jackson, Isaac Bruce. Is this Roy Williams right here? Reggie Williams, what I think is Roy Williams. Burleson. I think we need to pick a wide receiver coming up soon. I think that's at least what I'm getting at. Or do we... No, I think we go ahead and we take advantage of the fact that we got Kellen Winslow right in front of us. Get Big Ben some security at that position. And now, we'll have Michael Huff is available. Michael Huff and Paint. Terrell Suggs is right there. We got two strong D linemen. I think, because we have to pick, because the next pick's got to be like Jeff Saturday or something at center, because we need a really good center. Do we go for it? Nah, linebackers are... I think we go with Dante, uh, Dante, eh, or, hmm, I think we go Michael Huff. And then now we go a nice center. Who do we go with? I mean, you kind of had to go with, like, the likes of uh, Jeff Saturday. I can't believe his salary is that fucking low. Jesus. But yeah, so far. Ben, no running back. No wide receiver so far either, but that can change. That can change. Mark Clayton, though, out of Oklahoma. Not amazing. Sean Michael McDonald. Nope. Not going to do that. Same thing. Tumor. Williams. Any of these guys just, like, really, really impressive at these wide receiver position? Because, like, interested to see, like, what kind of dude we can get, like, his height or whatever. Because I don't think any of these dudes right here. Hmm. Jerry Porter. I mean, that's interesting. Darrell Jackson. I don't remember him being more than six feet tall yet. Barian. I don't think he's more than. Oh, he is. And he's got amazing speed. I think we get the speed demon in Barian. There we go. So, round 13. Who can we get? Those dudes are still available, so eh. Whatever. We got left tackle. We got a really good center. I think we might need to start filling the void that is our so we got a good linebacker, but if we're gonna run a four three, gotta eventually, you know, run it with a really solid team. We got Michael Huff. We got a really good secondary. I'll give it that. We definitely have a really good secondary. I think with this all being said, done. I think we already got two good enough players at those positions, respectfully. Then, with right here, I think, I believe, we should go with cornerback. Bam. Let's see if, like, Dar Darren McFadden's still available. Damn. Interesting, man. Did not think Darren McFadden would be available, but he is. Um... Williams. No, no need for those positions. Now you're starting to get more and more guys. So, hmm. Are we gonna? Should we get Boogie McFarlane? 
Tampa Bay. Who the fuck was it, though, back then that was on those teams? So, got Troy Palmalu, Huff, Griffin's in there. Maybe need to get in with these linebackers now. I think the best thing we can do is get not to not get Junior Seau and please keep him away from the fucking gun. Oh, uh, Gerard Mayo. I remember that. I remember that person coming out. Uh, screw it. We'll get Williams and we'll improve him. Uh, now, at this point, Darren McFadden's still available. This has not been pulled on the trigger yet. This is interesting. Um, so pick 16's coming up. I mean, do we get, like, easily the best? Because he's a really good player. 80 speed. It'd be nice to utilize him. But at the same... Oh, Nate Burleson, though. Think we can get a kicker later on because we can improve that position really well. Like I don't care about the line right now. We can fix that, no problem. I think we get Nate Burles. I know Antoine Randall L is right there, but fuck it. We don't need that. Vickers, let's get Vickers, and he can improve on blocking. As Darren McFadden goes bad shit, hopefully we can get Darren McFadden. Well, let's see. He's definitely out of our cap right now. Let's see, let's see. Oh, Randy McMichael, dude. That guy definitely fell. Back in the day. Like linebacker, any of these. You got Golston, I think. Now we go ahead and get some interior dudes to help out with. Uh, now I think we go for Golston. Right? I mean, we need to. He's a young player. Got to utilize that position quite a bit. Darren Fett's still available. Jesus Christ. Limus Swede. That's hilarious. Limus Swede. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. There's also Yonda right here. I mean, do we just get Limus Swede and Yonda? I mean, it'd be fun. I think that'd be fun. So okay, we got two decent, or three, yeah, two pretty decent wide receivers. And then now we can get Marshall Yonda, right? That's what I'm cool with. We can get Marshall Yonda in the 21st round. Darren McFadden still available. Damn, damn, damn. So team seven. cap room isn't that big. So we're kind of looking at so Golson, we'll just move him to the left outside linebacker. Not a big deal to me, in all honesty. Guard. Any guards? Richie Incognito. Ha! <laughs> Let's get him. Fuck it. Now. Let's get a good kicker with like really good kick power. So he's got 93 Rainer. Uh, yeah, that's the best kick power there is, so fuck it. We'll do that. Darren McFadden's still available. There must be, there must, most definitely must be, uh, we got Tavares Jackson. It'd be an interesting dude. Fuck it, he's cheap. Let's just get him. And then, now. Now he's finally been picked. But there are a couple players. Lindell White would be interesting. I don't think he's amazing at catching, though. So we might just settle down with a Jonathan Stewart. Or, I mean, it's funny. Both of these dudes, for sure, uh, younger dudes. I think Jonathan Stewart might be the guy to pick later on and whatnot. Because you can, or he might be the guy to pick now. I mean, let's be quite honest. So let's see it. Hmm. Two right guards, Jesus. Center. D tackle right there. Got the team covered. I think we go ahead and pull the trigger on a Jonathan Stewart. 
then. Whoever's available. Oh, that was the that was the time to do it. Jesus. Also, too, you got Fred Jackson. Fuck yeah, draft Fred Jackson. You fucking shitting me. We'll get Koch because the name. Then we'll get a left guard. The really cheap. It's a random fucking left guard I do not know about. Let's get Chianko. He's fast, dude. Maybe we can utilize him in the uh, passing game as well. Never know with some of these dudes. Let's get Lamar Woodley. Let's get another guy. Then... Let's simulate the rest of this bitch. So that's the team right there. That's just at least the most interesting part of the teams and stuff. Um, for sure. But yeah, I think uh, this is going to be fun as fuck. Really think so. It's going to be interesting after training camp to see how good we can get Big Ben before the season. Maybe we get all seven and we can try to get him to 99 overall as a quarterback. That'd be really fun. As far as Jackson, we can improve as a backup. Um, probably not as much because that one quarterback drill sucks. Balls with the rings. Just, but isn't that funny, dude? Peyton Manning gets picked third round. It's hilarious. He's going to Jacksonville, so there you go. No, uh, it's the wrong Manning brother going to Jacksonville, but yeah, it is what it is, right? It's pretty cool to see him going there. So yeah, best player isn't even the first guy we drafted, but that's just because that's how the draft worked. Ben Roethlisberger, it's funny. I like that dude, he's back in Atlanta, make, making mistakes, making mistakes. So Jonathan Stewart definitely improve him. Had to choose between one of these three to improve. Kellen doesn't need improving. Kellen is big. But let's see if we can we can edit players' information to make him a left guard. Oh yes, we can. So let's make Richie Incognito left guard right there. I like it a lot. Just tucks right there. I mean, why would these dudes? Ugh. Whatever though. We'll edit this player out. But. Yeah, we'll come back with the next episode for training camp and stuff. We'll do all the training camp stuff. Should be fun. But as always, y'all, really appreciate the support. You know, this is going to be really, really fun to do stuff like this, um, including this from now on. And maybe get MLB The Show and, like, an NBA Live Dynasty going. The the fantasy draft on that is fucked up. It just literally goes like an NBA draft where it's, like, every round, first team, first pick is always the same first pick in the same order. So that's annoying. But as always, y'all, Appreciate the support, and always, as always, you know, be uh, grateful for everything that comes to you. Later, y'all, and see you next video.